Road markings and road lines are common all over the world, and they tell us where to go, whether we can pass and keep us safe. At least that's what we've always been told. Are road markings always safe? Or would it be beneficial to remove road lines in certain areas for driving? While this idea may sound crazy, the UK government has been removing some road lines from their streets for some time in an effort to reduce accidents. Research shows that removing white lines in the center of rural roads causes drivers to be uncertain. However, this uncertainty causes them to slow down and reduce their vehicle speeds by up to 13%. By removing some solid lines, rural and small city streets become more free-flowing and less regulated, in turn, leaving drivers to self-police. This can result in more observant driving, fewer accidents, and in the grander scheme of things, more efficient travel. However, while this finding is leading to the removal of lines from slower city streets, what would happen if road lines were removed from faster highways? In all likelihood, chaos. But first, what's the reason we use street lines at all? They're actually a fairly new invention with the first white road markings dating back to 1911 in the U.S. and 1918 in the United Kingdom. These early markings were used to direct the flow of traffic, but were more suggestions than laws of the road. As automobile road networks grew globally in the 1920s and 30s, road lines began to be used as road signals in a similar way to stop signs or crosswalk markings for pedestrians. In the U.S., these early lines were all white, but yellow lines were soon added as well. Showing up first in the 1950s, yellow was initially used for two-way roads, and white was used for directing one-way traffic. Following yellow lines, dashed lines started showing up in 1956, first indicating passing lanes and merging lanes. Road lines eventually became popular on most roads, leading to transportation departments developing their own standards for each region. Today, road markings are generally standardized by national transportation agencies. So with the history out of the way, what would happen if we removed these markings from fast-moving highways? When moving at high speeds, as drivers do on interstates, highways, and other large roadways. Road lines are necessary to ensure that there aren't constant crashes. This is due to the shrinking reaction time caused by driving at higher speeds. By removing lines on a fast-moving highway, drivers would ideally be more cautious and drive slower, but that would defeat the purpose of the highway. While there's no single global standard for where road lines should be used, in general, they indicate lanes, edges of the roadways, passing zones, turning zones, and slow speed zones. Without these indicators on the road, drivers would be in for considerable uncertainty. So are road lines needed? Counterintuitively, removing road lines from slower moving streets does have some backing in science. It can be useful in forcing drivers to be more vigilant and drive safer but only in places where speeds are already low and traffic is light. With that said, road lines are definitely needed on higher speed roads, 